hello guys nitin here and this is the third part of our video so we are designing this uh, industrial warehouse so you can see in the rendered view we have totally modeled uh, this uh, warehouse so we have assigned the properties also so in today's video we will um, go for go through the load so i have in the previous video i have totally assigned the load conditions uh, dead load live load wind load etc and after that we will go for the first uh, load combination and after that we will um, analyze this structure and after after that we will go for the de designing part okay so there we will add the stat parameters okay so for now go for the load case details add and auto load combinations you can select the your codes your country code so my country code is india uh, i'm from india so indian code and select load combination categories so it's my general structure so generate load it will automatically uh, generate the load according to your country standard okay so you can go for the manually also so like uh, define load combination you can manually add uh by your uh, by your country code so so i i am i am going for the auto load combination so generate load and it will automatically generate the load combination okay so after go for the add so you can see it is adding and it has been uh, it has been added over here so for now we will go for the analysis part so go for the analysis print options so here you can see the analysis print options you can see the print options if you don't want any don't want the print you you if you want to go for only the <coughs> post processing mode uh, after the analysis you can go for the on no print option you can click on no, you can go through the uh, no print options and if you if you want to get the load data uh, load data if you want if you want to print so you can go for the load data and you can select a static check static load mode shape mode shape when you go for the earthquake designing part so you can see the mode shape also and uh, i click for now here all options okay so add and now go, uh, i go for analysis part so go for the analysis and save you can see it is processing and you can see it is uh, it is analyzing and you know, here you can check how it analyze how stat analyze all the data so i go for view output file here are, there are some notes so you can ignore these notes because we have we have to only see the warnings and errors okay if there is no warnings and no errors and you can go through so here are the total reactions load and total applied load uh, how much load is applied okay so you can see all the data okay so i go for the designing part so as you can see in the left uh, bottom down over here so design go for the steel design and i am choosing in standard so there are two option in is 800 is 800 2007 lst this is the limit state design and here working state design okay so i am clicking is 800 2007 limit state design okay so after that you can select the parameters and here uh, there are the some parameter we have to select so here the first is ultimate strength of the steel and second one is yield strength of the steel and <clears throat> you have to go for the length in local y axis of cylinder value kl by r so this and lz so we have to take this value on this side 
and click add so we have to select again ly and lz and lx so here, here is the lx and so again i go to this in, in here so i click ok and then go for the define parameters <coughs> So you have to define the parameters okay so ultimate uh, tensile strength of the steel is 4 to 0 okay so 4 to 0 newton per mm square but it, it is in kilonewton per meter square so click add and go for the yield strength of the steel it is 250 so 250 newton per mm square so we are selecting it in kilonewton per meter square click add and go for the lx data so lx uh, we generally use for the rafters okay so rafters for uh, breast and supported okay for the rafters i select here so so what is the length of my raft or raft okay so we have to first check it so from here to here it is 5 meter okay 5.025 so go for the different parameters again and click here 5.025 click on add and after go for uh, the ly <clears throat> so for ly you have to uh, go to the uh, Perlin's for Perlin spacing, okay. For Perlin spacing, so click and the, what is the spacing of the Perlin? So it is again 5.025. So click here 5.025 over here, okay. So click on add and again for the Z LZ. So length in local Z axis for cylinder ratio KLY R so lz you have to go for the column height what is the height of a column so our column height is six meter so click here six add and now you have to assign this properties assign this code parameters over here okay so for this ultimate strength of steel we have to apply for the whole structure okay assign to view assign and this is illustrance we have to assign it all uh, put in all the structure okay so go for assign to view assigned okay for the lx we have to select all the um, <coughs> these uh, these rafters okay so click here here and you, i have selected all these uh, rafters so click assign to selected games and assigned okay so for ly we have to select the parallels so go for the select beams parallel to z axis assigned successfully for the lz select we have to select all the columns so lz select y direction so after that go to the command command option here first you have to go for the check code add and take off remember take off this is the it will give the all the all the data uh, all the loads uh, the how much steel is using in your uh, for your warehouse so you can go for the member take off so i am selecting the member take off okay so click on add uh, check code assigned to view assigned okay steel member take off assigned to view assigned properly okay so for now i will go for again analysis run analysis and
you can see all the load data over here so it is I think analyzing you can see screen so view output result and it is showing some warnings the value of moment application factor ky or kz is greater than 1.4 for member 62 okay so in the next video uh, <coughs> we will clear these warnings okay so if i if i go for this then it will uh, take a lot of time because it is it is happening because of the we are using this uh, these bracings so it is showing because the length of this bracing is higher okay so we have to take it lesser and so for now uh, it's a for now okay so thanks for watching this video in the next video I will and we will complete this model Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Thanks for watching this video.